So recently I put out a video about WLAN network transparency. The TLDR is in the WLAN core protocol, it does not support X-style network transparency. However, 99% of the same goals can be achieved with a standalone VNC or RDP server. Or you can use a WLAN specific solution called Waypipe which acts a lot like SSH-X. Now considering the topic, I did expect at least some level of disagreement, but there were a couple of repeated sentiments that I do want to address. For privacy reasons, I will hide the names, but I will show the comments on screen. So, let's start the fun. Wayland devs do not support network transparency, which does not mean it would not work. Just like playing games over Proton on Linux is not officially supported by the devs, but it is still possible. I think that is what people mean when they say Wayland does not support network transparency. As in, Windows games don't work on Linux, instead they work on Proton. I think in the context of a really nerdy discussion about the tech involved in these systems, this is an interesting distinction to make. Like saying, Wine is not an emulator, or the PS4 runs a version of BSD. This is a fun thing to talk about. But I think when trying to communicate a point to someone who may not be heavily involved in this space, it kind of needlessly muddies the water on what you're trying to communicate. If I say, for example, that OBS doesn't support desktop capture on Wayland. This is technically accurate. There is no capture API available in the Wayland protocol, but it also ignores the fact that Pipewire Video Capture exists to do exactly the same job. Or if I say Xorg doesn't have a web browser, this is technically accurate. There is no web browser available in the Xorg codebase but it ignores the fact that there are web browsers built to run on top of Xorg. Yes, it is fair to say that with the exception of one application, there is no X11 style network transparency on Wayland, but is that what's being asked about? Does the user want X11 style network transparency, or do they want the ability to remotely control an application? If they want the second one, then Waypipe, VNC, and RDP are going to do exactly what they need. Now many people repeated this next concern. VNC is not really comparable as I want to render a single window, RDP client or VPN login, not the entire desktop. The point of network transparency isn't giving remote access to your desktop, but having another screen somewhere showing the exact content of your screen. It's being able to interoperate local and remote apps on the same desktop with the same fidelity. How many of those support remote applications without sharing the actual desktops? Basically, unless you're remote into a single application as opposed to your entire desktop, it is not network transparency. Which absolutely is a valid concern. If all you need from the other computer is a single application, there's no point showing you the entire desktop of the other computer. But it is also an implementation issue. So RDP over on Windows does have an application mode where it does exactly this. You just have a single application being shown and not the rest of the desktop. Now, RDP is made to show your entire desktop, so it's not perfect and sometimes moving the application can cause the background to be shown behind it, but that's not the point. The point is it can be done, it's just missing as a feature from most of the implementations. And as for the VNC side, it has the exact same problem. If nobody wanted the feature, nobody is going to add the feature. This is the problem with having everything in the FOSS world being volunteer work. If nobody wants to do it, the feature's just not going to exist. Most people out there are not being paid to do this work, so a lot of things just happen to be missing. But if you do need something that only shows a single application, you can go and use Waypipe. Another really commonly repeated argument is what I think this means is that rendering itself is done on the client. VNC, RDP, SPICE are methods of streaming audio and video rendered on the server. Client-side rendering is what people are on about. Wayland does not allow for network transparency. Interactive video streams do not constitute network transparency. They constitute a hack to see a screen or application remotely. The only way for it to be true network transparency is to render the application on the client. If you're just sending a video stream and decoding that, that is not network transparency. I think this is a really interesting point and kind of digs up the fundamental tech itself and what you are trying to get from network transparency. In my case, I don't really care how the application gets to me. 
if it's sent over a video stream, if it's sent with true remote rendering, if it is sent to me via Polaroids from a pigeon, I don't really care. At the end of the day, I want a system that feels responsive and lets me control a remote application. My only concerns are whether it's fast, whether it's reliable, and whether it lets me control a remote application. If it does, then my goal is going to be achieved. But if you're more focused on the underlying tech and how the rendering is being done, if you want X11 style rendering, where you actually do have true remote rendering. You are running the application on one system and the UI is rendered on a completely different system. If that is what you want, VNC and RGP will never achieve that goal for you. They are not true remote rendering protocols, they are video streaming systems that allow you to control a remote application. And now every desktop gets to do it themselves separately. I'm sure that will work out well. Much like they could do over on the Xorg side, Wayland desktops do have the option of building their own solution. Whether that's an RDP server, a VNC server, or some completely separate protocol, maybe something they made in-house. Western, for example, does integrate an RDP server. But most of the desktops out there, outside of the absolutely massive desktop environments like GNOME, KDE, and Cosmic, are built on an existing library, primarily WL Roots. And when you're using something like WL Roots, you can rely on the solutions built to work with that library. In this case, WayVNC. Wayland, as the project, does not support network transparency. It's possible because of third-party tools built on top of Wayland. Going back to my point from earlier, I think that's sort of a distinction without a meaningful difference. If someone decides, okay, I'm going to integrate an RDP server into my Wayland compositor like Western has. Now it is integrated into Wayland. So now it's not third party, it's just a part of the project. But even if it's not integrated, I don't think there is a meaningful difference between having one binary and two binaries. If it is the exact same code and the exact same functionality, it achieves the exact same goal at the end. Not in case when you have a remote machine or virtual machine which doesn't run desktop, but you want to run GUI apps on it remotely. And I do run such apps from time to time. The point of network transparency is that the machine you're running the apps on doesn't need to have a GPU, only the machine that has the monitor. Just a fun little side thing, there are two different people so far who have told me the point of network transparency and they are completely different points. But going back to the main point. This is another legitimate problem that is not being addressed by this solution. However, if you desperately need it, X-Style Network Transparency is still going to be available for use under Wayland by using x -Wayland. This is much like how all of our Pulse Audio applications haven't broken now that people are migrating the pipe wire. You still have that Pulse Audio support there, it's just under a different name now. And the vast majority of functionality you need is going to work under x -Wayland, like it works under Pipewire as well. So if you need to use that X-Style network transparency and nothing else is going to fit your problem, you can still use it, and you're going to be able to use it basically for the foreseeable future. The only difference is now the application is shown on a Wayland desktop as opposed to another X11 desktop. I also want to address two minor mistakes I made. I didn't know there was a KDE specific desktop sharing solution. That is called KRFB, the KDE desktop sharing. Also, I got the relationship between the X terminals and your X clients basically backwards. So I said the traditional X terminals didn't run an X server locally. That's not correct. And I should know this. I've done a video on the history of Xorg. The problem is I've researched way too many topics and sometimes you need to delete some of that old data to make room for new data. So those X servers did run locally on the X terminal. It is the X clients that ran on the big mainframe. Basically, it is the reverse of your standard client server model. And this final comment basically sums up my entire stance. The reality is, true network transparency at the protocol level just isn't important anymore. It made sense at one point, but low latency hardware video encoding and decoding being almost universal combined with actually reasonable network bandwidth means that you can just send the entire already rendered video signal over the network and it will be usable. Wayland itself doesn't have to be tailored for it. I hope that clears up some of the points I was trying to make. 
I know some people are still going to disagree with me, and for those people, X Whalen is going to give you X11 network transparency. If you really don't like the other solutions, that is there, so you can just keep doing what you've always been doing. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you use network transparency? Do you like these other solutions like VNC and RDP? Or are you working on your own protocol? I would love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, Slip Bay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me. And this is probably the last time I talk about this topic. Maybe. Possibly. Don't hold me to it.